Okay, great. So we are going to move into some of the other practices now. Buddha and Chalasana and then dancing Shiva. Swing is going to be behind the back, underneath the arms. And then we're going to start out, actually, let's start out with the Chalasana. So that was a pretty in intense sequence for, for the newness of it. The leg lifts we pull down one at a time, both hands. Okay. Let all your weights start, start there. there. Let all your weight sit in the swing. Okay. Take both hands and pull your leg loop down. Bring your foot up. Hook behind the knee. Great. Now keep your weight in the swing. Pull your knee up off the ground. The other leg. Pull the swing down to hook your foot. And then come into the knee. It's really good. You're getting big, big and wondering why I'm emphasizing step by step. And then when we have People come into the workshop and they're like, oh, that's fine. Because if you're standing and you're trying to put the leg loop on, people tend to kind of be like wobbling all over the place. But if you let the weight of the swing hold you, then you can see, oh, once I get one leg hooked, then I can take my other leg up. Sometimes we try to do both at the same time and it gets crazy. So one at a time. That's great. The first thing we're going to do in the chillaxing pose is we're going to wish away through the legs. They call it swagger. So we're going to get our slider on. <laughs> Let's swing from side to side. So notice that if I bring my shoulders to my ears, it looks a little funny. It feels a little funny. So I'm going to bring my shoulders down my back by leaning back and let my heart open by engaging my lats. Okay? There you go. Really good. Hips stay heavy. Heart opens. So we're literally arching the body open. And then we're going to use the full chillaxin pose. Yeah. It's with our hands yeah. clasped behind our head. And now we're going to go nice and slow. We're actually going to let it fall freeze frame. So we're going to twist to one side and hold it. And then twist to the other side and hold it. So it feels really good on the subscap area and in the side body. Just see what it feels like to play and explore. Just come to one side. And Pause. Take the other side. Pause. Beautiful. And we're we're um, synchronized swimming with our neighbors. We don't want to get into any bumper cars. If we do, we just we just do one gigantic. I'm sorry now. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I can offer them great coupon if you come up. Please. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So again, coming back to center, just a little swing motion. Let's see what happens when we release our arms out to the sides. So when I when I increase the angular momentum, I call it wild thing. When I start like really getting some big spins going. Cool. And we let ourselves play. <laughs> Very nice. Fun. Okay, we're going to slow it back down. Just shift the hips from side to side. We're going to get into these kind of micro movements in the body. So now I want you to start to feel this crease. Right? We we're opening up the hip flexors from the other side. Keep our hips heavy, keep our heart open. Let's come into this. Is, this would be a really lazy five pointed star. So when I come into a five pointed star, I lean back. My arms are open wide, but my legs aren't doing anything. So from here, we're going to actually go into the full five-pointed star where we actually engage our legs too. So straighten your legs, point your toes, and let your arms come out wide. Oh. Upper body is straightened down towards the ground, release the neck. Hips are heavy. <coughs> nice. And from starfish, we're going to exhale and squeeze everything in. So keep your arms wide. They need to be on the outside of the swing. And then wrap in. Just pull your hands towards your forehead and rest. Hips are straight down, feet are relaxed. Let's take a deep breath here. Some cleansing breaths. Squeeze it all out. In the next inhalation, you're going to expand, widen the heart. Expand through the fingertips and through the toes. Nice straight limbs. And then exhale. Squeeze it all back in. Wrap around your leg loops. 
poor head, resting in the nape of the hands. My feet just naturally kind of cross. See if you can switch to the other foot on top. Nice. Inhale, you expand, start to ah, Let it feel good. Exhale, you squeeze it all in. So this is kind of like another form of the cat cow. Inhale, expand.
Next inhalation, swing your arms around, grab for your ankles, arch and open into a bow. From bow pose, take another breath. Release your feet, hold on to the swing, and on your next inhalation, pull yourself up. Exhale, sit back down. Relax in arms, then clap your hands behind your head. Swing from side to side. So cool, that's a full chillaxing vinyasa pose sequence. So does everybody want to do that again? How are you feeling? wanted to come into warrior two, we could twist all the way back. But we're going to just stay. Stay up on your toes and twist. You notice what happens with the hips. Just the upper body. Awesome. One more time to the right. And pulse a little here. See? Doing the psoas muscle. Left side. Doing a big stretch. The back leg straight. Pressing your femur into the hamstring. Uh, there. into a little bit of a back bend. Left leg stays forward. Right foot steps back. Notice I'm going to show you the variation we can do on our knees. Now this way we don't feel like using all that upper body strength. Okay, we can stay here, but we can still kind of pulse, right? Pulse. Okay. Now it's more upper body strength, right? Okay. If we didn't feel like doing either, we can just bend the elbows and hang out. <laughs> This is good. This is good. Awesome. If you feel like jumping in and joining us, great. If not, just sit there and hang out. Awesome. So I am going to come up personally to do the twists because I like how it feels in my in my hip flexor and so as. If you wanted to stay down, that's okay. So we go to the left. Drop in a little bit deeper. The hips where they are, but twist. Use the resistance of the swing to really get the upper body engaged. And then it comes to neutral. A little bit. I know, can you feel that? Yeah. Right? And then the right. So we're staying up on our toes. Notice we could hold down onto our foot and come to a version of warrior two, but we're going to just stay up. We did our warrior two. Just stay. Upper body twist. It's amazing. Go to the, to the left one more 
time, just notice we're not doing very much, but notice how much work this is, how much effort you can make to just do the twist. Twists are some of the hardest things in yoga for me, <laughs> I should say. I'm always like struggling to get into the twist, but this really helps deepen into these poses that can be very challenging for me otherwise. Awesome. All right, so stepping back, both feet forward, legs are straight. Swing the arms in this space. Just swim it out. Very gentle, simple back bend. Awesome. Straight down. So I want to come into the dancing shivas, but we're going to stay grounded in them. So what we're going to do is take one leg loop, let your body weight hold you, and bring it all the way up in the inner thigh. All the way up. It might be intense, but just find again that sweet spot. And then the other leg is bent. I would bend the knee. <laughs> Where are my feet? <laughs> what am I trying to do? So bend. The ground one foot. There you go. Just okay. bend your knee out to the side. have nuts and water and everything over here can live and grounded. Yeah, sometimes it helps. Okay. I feel ya. <laughs> it's pretty normal for the body to release toxin. So we're in our modified lunge. So first we're gonna let it be all bunched up. Because otherwise it'd be so if we spread it out and then stand, it's just gonna come into a little high, high diver anyhow. So leave it all bunched up there. It's actually good to engage the kind of connected, connected tissue where the hamstring inserts into the sit bones, gets really congested, as well as the adductor. So we're doing a little, like, some more therapeutics this way. Now notice, this is a little bit more of an engagement than this. This is really relaxed. So just kind of choose which one feels right for you today. Okay. Either one is totally welcome. And then what we're gonna do is put the bottom foot up. Finding job. And now if you want to spread it out, go ahead and 
understand the leg move. It's really great about making them with more materials. And then if we want to bend, back knee, we come in super mod. Okay. Awesome. Or I use my foot to just ground for a minute to twist and hook. Oh, big stretch. Beautiful. So in this one, my hips are starting to point down towards the ground. So, land that one, roll out of it, and let's just come right back into our chillaxing. Since we're half chilling, let's come back into the uh, hands going to the left hand. Yeah, it's helping. Yeah, definitely. The ground we have crackers too. It's just uh, pretty normal, especially for a uh, first timer. So from chillaxing, we're going to move into floating Buddha. Okay, nice and slow. We're going to expand our leg loops down to catch our ankles. Now, usually it's comfortable with the ankles, but if you need a little bit more space, you can also hook the heel. So you can have a swing on both the heel and the ankles. Let's see which one feels right for you today. Okay. So from here, this is wide straddle. Wide straddle moves to open the heart. Okay. You can also try these with one foot on the ground if you need a little bit more grounding kind of, and do one leg at a time. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So just try that and um, do some variations to see what helps. Sometimes people get like seasick. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> So again, let's just play in the space. So either if, you neck, if your neck needs some support, cross your hands. Otherwise, keep your arms out wide. Cool. And now let's, we're going to start to lift away from the legs. Nice and slow. Then one knee at a time. Pulling that foot in. right leg straight. You're going to reach your arms around wide, right? We keep our arms wide. We can grab for the leg loop and pull that in towards our chest. Keep your hips heavy and just pull that foot in. So hips heavy. Drop them down. Yeah. Okay. There you go. It's a different pose. We're going to move into side three, but right now the hips are heavy. And then we just pull in. So let's pull the knee in towards our body. So grab the knee with your hand and pull it in. Deeper glute stretch, right? Now keep holding on with the right hand. Just use that left hand to traction the knee down, the hip down. Stretch the back body. It feels good, yeah? Oh, so amazing. For some reason, I never get tired of stretching. <laughs> I can do this forever. I'm like, sure, I'll do this. So pull the knee in. This is called floating pigeon. Pull the knee in. Deep breath. Push the knee down. Nice. Good. Yeah, that's great. That's a good um, alternative. Kind of thank you. All right. Coming back. Release the arms. Switch sides. So take some pressure off the underarms by just leaning back when you need a break. Okay. Pull that foot in. So we reach around. Arms wide. Grab for the leg loop. Both hands at first. can actually help the knee in towards the body by using our right hand. Only if that feels good. Drop the hips a lot. Otherwise, you can lean back. If you lean back, you're going to take pressure off the underarms. You'll just get used to that burning, tearing sensation of the fascia stretching. <laughs> it's good for you. 
Okay, so <laughs> knee comes in towards the chest. Nice deep breath. Rest the knee down the way. Just got all this space and bend the side body. That's the part of the mind that hardly ever gets this much room. It's really trashing the spine out of the pelvis. And that space in between the vertebrae is going to be preventive from any sort of herniated discs, bulging discs, torn this or that, all the popular names that you get these diagnoses in Western medicine. If we just create space in the body, we're switching sides, we can eliminate any of that kind of compression that will happen on the disc, causing lots of back pain. Okay, so we're going to move into side tree. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight, reach around, both hands grab for the leg loop, left knee in, there we go. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to have the bottom of the foot find the inner thigh. Keep your right hand holding on, let your left hand fly out to the side. This is similar to the flying ninja we just did. So press your hips forward, Re look towards your fingertips, side tree. So hips forward, press, yes, there it is, good, like we're in one plane. So if we just let the arm dangle, it's a side tree. We really like dun -dun -dun, <laughs> press the arm out, then we're in a flying ninja. Good. Come back through center, wide straddle. Second side, reach around, grab through your leg loop, press your Side body open, and then let your arm fly. To the full pose. Beautiful. Right arm extended, so I'm going to go flying ninja. That's great. That's good. And then back through center. Fly the straddle. So this is. Stretch number one. Stretch number two is reaching around and grabbing for the leg loops. And then coming to wide straddle. You can just do one leg at a time, so kind of that's fine. Just grab for that leg loop and pull that foot in. No, no, she had it right. Yeah, the same leg. Just pull that in and stretch the hamstring. Okay. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we're going to actually do the one legged versions and all come down. So keep the right leg straight, keep the leg loop in your left hand and bring your left knee to the ground. So but we came off. My whole shirt here. Okay, great. So I like cooking at the arch of the foot. Now this side if you like what I call the pointed, the ankle, and try the arch of the foot. The arch is a little bit more intense, a little bit more advanced. So see if the arch works. If not, keep it hooked over the ankle. I just like to engage my, my hamstring and my calf. So notice I have to really press my foot down and engage the calves. The calves are probably this one. So I have my marionette hand on the left. I can also hook with my wrist and hold on. Pull that down. Yeah. So my little teacher. Good way to remember. So I'm going to do a little core strengthening here and then some um, leg stretching at the same time. So this is stretching the hamstring, right? If we wanted to get more intense, we would actually hold on to the leg loop and pull that in towards the body. Yeah, that's good. Now see how it's coming off your foot? That means you need to hook it on your ankle. Yeah. So I'll do that. Everybody put the leg loop on your ankle. This makes it easier as we go along here. Sometimes until we get that kind of, um, it's kind of like a foot string almost. It might come flying off if that happens. Cool. So just the ankle, and then hook, hook the heel. It's all ankle. Thank you. Awesome. So I'm going to use my little choo-choo train here. I'm going to pull down this one. So wrap your wrist around. Yeah. Yeah, like a better grip. Nice. And now I'm going to pull left knee in. Nice. Good. Bring the knee back down to the ground. Land it. 
So we're going to side lunge here. And now I'm going to use my bicep on the left. And I'm lifting the knee. Nice. Really good. Beautiful, everybody. <laughs> Land it again. Awesome. Let's actually come into a um, uh, reclined twist. So pull the knee in, straight body, and then twist. You can be bent. You know how we do this on the ground? So you can do it in here. to an hour, so this is a really long first experience, so we're taking it slow, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Poses. 
But now I'm doing like the choo the choo with two, two arms, right? Yeah. Now, if I want to get really lazy about it, <laughs> I'm just going to come on down and use the swing to kind of like help me explore in the space, right? So there's. You're right, but that's so hard. Well, you know. <laughs> cool. So just find, find where you want to play today and explore a little bit because it's going to be different for everyone. Like, there's a whole sequence that we do on the ground that we'll learn tomorrow um, if anybody wants to come back. <sighs> so I can also do the quad stretches. It's going to come up with me. Adjust your swing. You can also do the quad stretches like this, right? And I'm just using this for support. And just notice how deep we can go in these poses, too. Always keep the knee pointing down. Flex the foot so it's nice and happy. Yeah. stretch. Now, I can easily transition into where I was just by putting the swing behind my back. Yeah. Perfect. Good. So it's nice to explore the different areas. Variations that there are with the poses. Another floating pigeon on one side. <sighs> and then you ground. I like to end before taking a break in a wide straddle. Let's find our airplane wings. <sighs> now I wrap my hands around the swing and just drop my head. This is a little different than the last one I did. Getting my forward hold and letting the arms come up. This is sometimes a, um, a big stretch for people too, so it's nice to have the swing to help them get their arms behind their back. And then slowly release the swing all together. Bend your knees a lot and just shift from side to side. Really good. So if you want to just come right into a child's pose, we're going to have like a five minute break before we start doing some, um, we can either work into some acrobats or I'll just demo some acrobats and decide what we want to do for today. But hang on the child's pose. Just come all the way down. Let the prayer of child be the letting go and the releasing that your body needs for today. Opening up the kidneys. 